right, all my fellow drinkers across America, joining me, your host, Ron Ratcatcher Antonori, as I'm coming back at you once again from the Line Creek Brewing Company in Peachtree City, Georgia. It's their double release Labor Day weekend. I've already tried both of the double, most of, both of the new releases. Uh, the Ain't Afraid of No Goza, Blackberry Limeade Goza. Very good, 4.3% ABV, very light, refreshing. It's the adult version of your favorite Blackberry Limeade as a kid. I highly recommend you come out and try it, released this afternoon. I also tried the new Renegade Dark Lager, which comes in at 5.7% ABV. Real caramelly, lots of chocolate, a little coffee flavor to it. It tastes just like a stout but it goes down as smooth as a lager. So very light, very carbonated. Recommend you try it as well. About to cash out my tab and leave, and lo and behold, what did I see? I saw Jay Bird and the boys, Passion Fruit Burliner Weiss. Yes, that's right. It's a Passion Fruit Burliner Weiss. So that caught my eye, and I had to give it a try. So. As you can see by looking at it, like most Berliner Weisses, it is a cloudy kind of a wheat style beer. A uh, little more uh, sour tasting. Uh, excuse me. It is a regional ver variation of the wheat beer style from northern Germany, dating back to at least the 16th century. It uh, can be made from combinations of malted barley and, malt and wheat with the stipulation that the malts are kilned at very low temperatures to minimize color formation. The fermentation takes place with a mixture of yeast and lactic acid bacteria, and that is a prerequisite that creates the lactic acid taste, a distinguishing feature of the Berliner Weiss. So, you can definitely smell the passion fruit in the aroma of this beer. Yeah, I'm ready to give it a shot because I do like me some passion fruit. Mmm. Mm hmm. The sourness of the Berliner Weiss definitely comes through. It's definitely got me puckering up. <laughs> Good beer, though. I say, as you can look at it, it's nice, gold color, a little cloudy. Nice gold color there, a little cloudy, but you know. It's your typical Berliner Weiss with a passion fruit flavor to it. I'm normally not into the sour beers, Berliner Weiss is included. Um, there have been a few that I've tried that I do like. They're like sours. Um, you know, not some of my favorites, but I do drink anything and everything. I'll give anything a try at least once for all you drinkers, uh, drinkers across America out there following me each and every episode of my reviews, my show drinking across America where I'm visiting the breweries and getting down to business, talking to the brewers, the owners, you know, trying the beers to doing just my reviews like I'm doing right now. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, ring the bell so you stay notified of when I release all my new releases during happy hour each and every week. But that's very light, very refreshing. I believe it comes in at 4.5% ABV. I could be wrong, but I know it's right around that area. Uh, sorry for not knowing exactly. I just don't remember off the top of my head. But Berliner Weiss, Jay Bird, and the boys. Passion fruit, Berliner Weiss. Right here at Line Creek Brewing Company. And for your information, if you like Berliner Weisses, they've got a special going on. $5 a pint. They're trying to kill the keg. That's right, man. They're trying to kill the keg. So come on down. Enjoy a few pints of the Jay Bird and the boys. Passion fruit. 
Burliner Weiss. Ah, spit it out, Ron. Blah, blah. There we go. But come on down here to Line Creek Brewing Company. Grab you one of the Burliner Weisses. Grab you one of the new releases. The Ain't Afraid of No Goza, Blackberry Limeade Goza, or the Renegade Dark Lager, or any of the other fantastic beers that they've got on tap and in the can here at Line Creek Brewing Company. So until next time, stay safe, but don't stay sober. And you know what I mean. Call a friend, call a cab, call a ride share, Uber or Lyft. You know the spew by now, drinkers across America. Call Lyft. That's the preferred ride share of drinking across America because they like to partner with all my favorite breweries from coast to coast, guaranteeing that all craft beer lovers, you and me included, make it home safe because I want each and every one of you to continue frequenting your favorite breweries, watching my show on YouTube, IGTV, keeping up with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, you know, of where I'm going to be, the breweries I'm at, my reviews, and more. So stay safe, but don't stay sober. And until next time, salute to you all, my friends. I give it eh, one and a half pints up. Enjoy.